Hello everyone. I am Assistant Professor Dennis Pausar from Department of Computer Engineering, Silver Oak University. We are going to talk about SQL concepts in database management systems. I will be covering the basics of structured query language, data definition language, data manipulation language, data control language and their commands, primary key, foreign key and constraints like unique, not null and check and in operator in this video. Why do you need to learn this? What are the objectives or who should learn the SQL? Learning SQL or we can say structured query language is a valuable skill for anyone working with databases or data analysis. Main objectives to learn structured query language are to understand basic syntax and structure of SQL queries to learn to manipulate and retrieve data from a database to filter and sort data effectively using conditions and sorting commands to learn joins to combine data from multiple tables to enforce data integrity constraints and to understand database normalization to design efficient and scalable databases why to learn data definition language, data manipulation language, and data control language. For data definition language, it is to learn how to create, alter, and drop database objects such as tables. For data manipulation language, it is to gain proficiency in inserting, updating, and deleting data from the tables. While to learn data control language, it is to learn to grant and revoke privileges on database objects. Why should you learn about primary key, foreign key and unique constraint? Primary key constraint is used for data uniqueness and identification of unique data. Foreign key constraint is used to establish relationships between tables using the foreign keys. Unique constraint is to understand the role in ensuring data uniqueness and learn how to apply the unique constraint in one or more columns. What are the objectives or why do we need to learn not null check constraint and in operator? Not null constraint is to explore the significance of the not null constraint and to learn how to enforce the presence of values in specific columns. Check constraint is to understand the check constraint and its use for data validation. Learn how to define conditions using check constraint. In operator is to grasp the purpose and usage of the in operator and to learn how to use the in operator in SQL queries for filtering the data. Let us now start with the main content of this lecture. What is SQL or what is structured query language? SQL is a standard language for accessing and manipulating databases. SQL stands for structured query language. SQL is used to access and manipulate the databases. SQL became a standard of the American National Standards Institute or ANSI in 1986 and of the International Organization for Standardization ISO in 1987. So what does the SQL do? It executes queries against a database, it retrieves data from a database, it inserts records in a database, it can update records in a database, it can delete records from a database, it can create new databases and new tables in a database. It can create stored procedure and views in a database. It can set permissions on tables, procedures and views. What is data definition language? Data definition language consists of the SQL commands that can be used to define the database schema. It deals with the descriptions of the database schema and is used to create and modify the structure of database objects in the database. 
DTL is a set of SQL commands which is used to create, modify and delete database structures but not the data. These commands are normally not used by a general user who should be accessing the database via an application. Which commands fall under DTL? First one is create. This command is used to create the database or its objects like table, index, function, views, stored procedure and triggers. What is the syntax of it? So the syntax stands like create table table name in bracket column 1 data type column 2 data type column 3 data type. So it can also be written as create table new table name as select column 1 column 2 from the existing table with some where condition. If you want to create a table using some columns from the existing table then you can also do it. Next is the drop command. Drop command is used to delete the table from the database. The syntax of the drop command is drop table table name but the table has to be existent in the SQL database. Next is the alter command. Alter command is used to alter the structure of the database. What is the syntax of alter table? So alter table table name add column name and data type. If I wish to add a column in an existing table then I can use the alter table add column syntax. What if I want to drop one column from the existing table? For that I have a syntax as alter table table name drop column column name. Now I need to modify a column or I need to change the data type of an existing column from an existing table. For that I have the syntax as alter table table name modify column name and data type. Let's now come to the next command of the DDL that is truncate. So truncate is used to remove all records from a table but the table is not removed. Syntax of the truncate is truncate table table name. Let's move towards the next command of the DDL language. It is comment. It is used to add comments to the data dictionary. Single line comment starts with double hyphen while multi line comment starts with slash and asterisk. Any text between double hyphen and the end of the line will be ignored and it will not be executed. While if we are talking about the multi line comment it starts with the, a slash and asterisk and it also ends with an asterisk and a slash. So any text between slash and asterisk and asterisk and slash will not be executed but it will be ignored. Next command is the rename command. It is used to rename an existing object in the database. So what is the syntax of the rename command? Rename old table name to new table name. Here it is very important to write the two in between of the two names also. It is very much important to put the semicolon after each and every query to avoid the errors. Moving to the next After learning the DDL or data definition language, let's now talk about the data query language. What is data query language? DQL statements are used to for performing queries on the data within schema objects. The purpose of the DQL command is to get some schema relation based on the query passed to it. User can define DQL as follows. It is a component of SQL statement that allows getting data from the database and imposing order upon it. It also includes the select statement. This command allows getting the data out of the database to perform operations within it. When a select command is fired against a table or tables and the result is compiled into a further temporary table which is displayed 
or perhaps received by the program that is the front end. Let's now talk about the DQL command. Select is used to retrieve the data from the database. Let's talk about the syntax of the DQL command or the select command. Select column 1, column 2 from the table name. Select star from table name. If you wish to select the data of the whole table, then you can use select star from table name. Select distinct column 1, column 2 from table name if you wish to select the distinct columns out of the existing table. Select column 1, column 2 from table name where condition. If you wish to apply the where condition on the selection of your tables, you can put the where condition as well. You can also order by the data that you are trying to select from a table. For that, the syntax is select column 1, column 2 from table name, order by column 1, column 2, ascending or descending. Let's now talk about the data manipulation language. The SQL commands that deals with the manipulation of data present in the database belong to DML or we can say data manipulation language. This includes most of the SQL statements. It is the component of the SQL statement that controls access to data and to the database. DCL statements can also be grouped with the DML statements. DML commands. First is the insert. It is used to insert data into a table. Insert into table name, column 1, column 2, column 3. Values in bracket, value 1, value 2, value 3. Also, insert into table name, values. So, we can specify the values by specifying the column names, while we can also specify the values of the columns in the same sequence as there are the columns in the table. If we want to change the sequence of the columns while in the insert command, then we have to mention the column names in the insert query. Otherwise, it is not required at all. Next is the update command. Update command is used to update the existing data within a table. Let's talk about the syntax of the update command. Update table name set column 1 equal to value 1, column 2 equal to value 2, where condition. On the basis of the where condition, we can update the values of the existing data in the table. Let's now talk about the next DML command that is delete command. It is used to delete the records from a database table. Delete from table name where condition. On the basis of the where condition, you can delete some data from a table using the delete command. Moving forward, let's now talk about the DCL language or data control language. DCL includes commands such as grant and revoke which mainly deals with rights, permissions and other controls of the database system. Grant command, this command gives users access privileges to the database. Grant, the syntax is grant privilege name or object name to username, public or role name. While talking about the revoke command, this command withdraws the user's access privileges given by using the grant command. Syntax of the revoke command is revoke privilege name on object name from username, public or role name. Let's now talk about the constraints in the database management system. First one is the primary key. It is a column or a set of columns that uniquely distinguishes every row in the database. It should not have any duplicate values or null values. Primary key generally focuses on the uniqueness of the table. It assures the values in the specific column is unique. Only one primary key is allowed in the table and every table needs to have one primary key. The syntax of the primary key is 
create table table name in bracket column one data type primary key column two data type column three data type and so on here we can understand that it is very much important to define the primary key while creating the table itself it becomes very important now let's talk about the foreign key a foreign key is generally used to build a relationship between two tables the major purpose of the foreign key is to sustain data integrity between two separate instances tables can have more than one foreign keys and null values are also accepted in the foreign key create table table name column 1 data type primary key column 2 data type column 3 data type foreign key references table name and its primary key here you can see that we have defined one primary key in the table and one foreign key in the table all together while creating the table itself it becomes very much important to define the primary key and foreign key while you are creating the table itself unique constraints says that the values of the column needs needs to be unique A unique constraint is the rule that forbids duplicate values in one or more columns within a table and ensures that all the values in a column are different. Create table table name column 1 data type unique column 2 data type column 3 data type and and so on. This is the syntax for the unique constraint. Not null says that values of the column should not be left blank or null. Not null constraint is a rule that prevents the null values from being entered into one or more columns within a table. This needs to be defined while creating the table itself. Syntax of the not null is create table table name in bracket column 1 data type not null column 2 data type not null column 3 data type not null and so on. Let's now talk about the check constraint. Limit the value range that can be placed in a column. That is the main task of the check constraint. The check constraint will only allow certain values in the columns. Create table table name column 1 data type not null unique column 2 data type column 3 data type check in bracket column 3 is greater than or equal to 18. This is how you can define a check constraint in a particular column while creating the table itself. It is very much important to define all these constraints while you are creating the table itself. Let's now move forward to the in operator or in command. In operator allows to specify multiple values in a where clause. The in operator is a shorthand for multiple or conditions let's talk about the syntax for the in operator select star from customers where country in germany or france or uk so in this query the user is trying to say that select star from customers where the country should be germany or france or uk only next example is select star from customers where country not in germany france and uk so here the user needs to select the data from a table customer where country should not be named as germany france or uk now coming to the next example select star from customers where country in select country from suppliers so over here there is a query in the query so the main query is saying is saying that i need to select the customers where the country in but i have not specified the list of the countries but i have asked the dbms to select the countries list of the countries from another table itself and that is select country from suppliers so over here the inner query should run first it will select the list of the countries first of all and then the outer query should be executed let's now try and conclude the 
content that we have learned in this particular video. This video covers about the basics of what an SQL is, data definition language, data manipulation language, data query language and data control language. Also, the basics of defining primary key, foreign key, unique constraint, not null constraint, check constraint and in operator have been discussed here. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you.